Check out who it is, guys. It's John and Florence. Holy shit. He's in G-Land, about to hit the G-Land Pro. John's back on the communal vlog. <laughs> Are you guys starting a team vlog? <laughs> Ivan's We're birthday. About to go hit Big the team Hi. is headed to um, Tahiti. Testing, testing, we're still alive. Testing, Are you? did you survive that little spill camera? Spill has been survived. Sorry guys, we dropped you. The young children. Active duty military members, you're welcome to begin lining up in the main cabin boarding line to the left hand lane here at gate A12. I do understand that your boarding passes do show a different gate. We are just utilizing a different boarding area to the same lane. Like Once again, us looking at the swell. I do understand like that your gate, your gate on your boarding pass is showing a different gate, but we are just utilizing the agriculture machine here, which will lead to the same aircraft to San Francisco. <laughs> this is a reminder for you just joining us here in the holding area. All guests will be heading through our agriculture <laughs> checkpoint. The agriculture <laughs> checkpoint is checking for any fresh fruits or vegetables. If you do happen to have any fresh fruits or vegetables, it's true. please remove those. The rumors are true. You do make dump, your way dump, dump all the boarding of that. area. All carry on bags, and bags, and bags, and bags, and bags, and bags, that is too heavy to lift up in here. Welcome to begin lining up in the A12 main cabin boarding line at this time along the viewing window. Hey, you come here often? <laughs> I'm looking to make out. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Why'd, you, why'd you put me here? You literally sat me a whole seat away from me. I know. Evan's <laughs> 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 <it's> folding under pressure. <laughs> Morning, this is the queen, Cindy. <laughs> some warble, maybe some winds overnight. I already saw one heavy west one, so this swell is like more west than predicted, the heavier it's going to be. The more west the direction, the heavier it gets. So, uh, we'll see, there's only three guys out right now. A couple of daredevils trying to There should be some waves, more and more size as the day goes on, so take your time. If you see some good waves, that's the only sign you need to get out there.
so heavy out there. <laughs> Guys are pushing it so hard right now. It's sketchy. Look again. Lucas. Oh gosh. Whoa. You guys see Lucas's wave right when I was going back out? It was the wave of the day. I don't think anyone will match that. Do you see Balaran's? That one was huge. He made a drop, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then he went down after. Let the swell fill in, it'll be more makeable. You got it.
Jonko. Okay guys, that concludes another epic day here in Tahiti. Uh, the day started out with a paddle session as we thought it would. Super west as well was super doubled up. Um, we had an epic crew we headed out with on the boat, a couple of photographers and filmers, Ivan, and we kind of jumped in the water right away after watching a few sets. The swell was so west and very quickly like a few different people came out and it just turned into this gnarly high intensity session. Like there were just guys that were so talented, all wanting a big one that it was like any set that came, someone was gonna go on. Like you had the, the local boys standing out, Matahi, Emio, Kaali, all ready to go on a bomb. You had the guys that flew in like Myself, Paul Ramstack, Lucas Chumbo, his brother Jao Chumbo, um, Nick Von Rupp, all these guys were like out in one pack, literally looking at any set, like I'm gonna go. And so it was like that high intensity, competitive environment, you go, I go kind of thing. Um, and honestly, it was more wipeouts than makes, but like a couple crazy waves were made, a couple crazy wipeouts. I had one, I just freaking, it would have been like one of my bigger waves I've ever paddled out here and just somehow like, I was just drawing so hard. I made the drop and bottom turn and just fell over my front rail and like body surfed in this huge barrel. I was just thinking about the rest of the day. Like I should have made that wave, but the, I think a few guys had waves like that. Um, except for the king, Matahi, who was pretty much making all of his waves. He did have one crazy wipeout though. Everyone had some crazy wipeouts. And, uh, and then it got kind of windy and the conditions went weird and everyone kind of relaxed and the tow teams went out and some tow tets sets started to come through and the toe session started, but it just wasn't that like max toe size. Um, and so midday I paddled back out, redemption session, got two wipeouts right off the bat. Like one of them was so violent, I was, my arms strung out to either side. I could not pull them to my body and I was doing did like eight rotations underwater, super quickly violent. Two wipeouts, I was like, man, maybe it's just not my day because I had a big wipeout in the morning. Um, and then I ended up getting a mental one in. So like, it only takes one or two of those mental ones to make your whole day. Um, and that's how it worked out. And of course, Matai, after his power went way out the back and sat there for like, must have been like six hours um, since he paddled. Sat there the whole day in the same thing as last time we were here. Five o'clock comes around, the wave of the day <laughs> comes in and Matai's on it super deep, deeper than anyone towed the whole day, taking the craziest line and of course blown out into the channel. So a great success. The local boys held it down. Everyone flew in, got sick waves. Um, we're looking to have another day tomorrow possibly. I know Ivan still wants to get a mental wave. He got some sick ones today too. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed another epic day of exciting stuff. Even a slight boat crash, which is pretty crazy. Uh, the channel is just super hype and gets super wild, so yeah, stoked we can show it to you. Out.